I'm about to show you a simple calculation that literally changed my life. I will demonstrate that if the length of an evolving vector is constant, then the derivative of the vector is orthogonal to the vector itself. In other words, if you think of a particle moving along a trajectory with constant speed, but obviously a varying velocity because the trajectory is not straight, then the acceleration of the particle, in other words, the derivative of its velocity, is orthogonal to the trajectory itself. And the beauty of the calculation that I'm about to show is that it's completely finite. And it changed my life because it made me realize that every analytic framework should aspire to reduce the analysis of any problem to finite algebraic rules. And that that goal is possible for a much wider range of problems than you might think. So in this problem, we will of course rely on the dot product. Because after all, the dot product is our way of converting geometric problems to algebraic ones. And we will assume that the dot product satisfies the product rule of differentiation. Although we won't justify that rule until later in the course. All right, so how do we paraphrase this fact that the length of v is constant in terms of the dot product? Well, of course, all we need to say is that the dot product of v with itself is a constant. That's the length squared of v. And if the length of v is constant, then the length squared of v is constant as well. We'll call that constant c, and it will help us avoid square roots. All right, so now we have an identity which holds for all values of t. So we can now differentiate both sides of this identity with respect to t. And once again, we will assume that the product rule of differentiation holds for the dot product. Okay. Now we see that the two terms in this sum are equivalent because the dot product is commutative. So we can combine them into one. We'll have two v prime dotted with v equals zero. And I will also drop the argument t because it's not necessary for the finite conclusion. So we have, so we have discovered that the dot product of the derivative of v with v itself equals zero. In other words, v prime is orthogonal to v, just as we set out to prove. So now let's just take a moment to appreciate the beauty of this derivation. It relied on completely finite algebraic rules of differentiation. It did not require any infinitesimal arguments, any geometric intuition, any insight, any ingenuity of any kind. It was just a straightforward application of the rules of differentiation. And that's the beauty of it. And this is the sort of calculation we'll aspire to throughout this course.